further evidence of the tenacious Soviet resistance to the German onslaught is to be seen in these latest pictures from the Russian front. Within sound of the ugly noise of war, the massive harvesters reap the corn so as to leave nothing but a barren waste of scorched earth for the invading Huns. Women and children pluck the few remaining ears of grain and fling all their energy into the heavy work of building additional defences. In the USSR, it's everyone's war. Despite the fact that German propaganda has destroyed it twice, the Red Air Force is giving a splendid account of itself, and the Soviet planes are more than holding their own. As a famous man would say, really, Dr. Goebbels. The ground defenses are also taking heavy toll of the Luftwaffe. In this spectacular camera record of aerial war, some splendid shots of crashing Nazi aircraft have been taken. So sit back and enjoy yourself for a while. During the night blitzes on Russian towns, the Germans have suffered severely. By the light of gun flashes, you'll see a lot of strong medicine being given to the raiders. Remember that German radio spy who was dropped by parachute over Britain? He's dead now. Well, here's another one who was captured with his shortwave transmitter behind the Soviet lines. He won't last long either. And now some small idea of the titanic clash of armed might that is taking place from Leningrad to the Black Sea. The guns of the Red Armies in action. their weight of high explosive. According to the Russian High Command, 8,000 German tanks were destroyed during the first two months of war for the loss of 7,500 of their own. Since then, the tempo of war has brought many more casualties. Along a front of 2,000 miles, the ironclad hosts continue to meet in indescribable fury. In men, the Russians admit the loss of 700,000 for the same period after accounting for two million Germans. Documents of the Nazi headquarters staff are all that remain of the 32nd German Division. It was wiped out to a man. The shattered remains of other divisions know to their cost that Hitler's dream of an early conquest is a nightmare from which Germany may awake too late. Here are sample students of the Nazi cult of brigandry, products of the foulest regime that ever cursed the world. Just as their leader loots the countries under his heel, so do his men steal. This German officer is not ashamed of anything, but it's in the German's nature to take what doesn't belong to him and when caught, show cowardly fear.